What's up and welcome to the episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're taking a look at the Master 16, the new 9955HX3D, which is the best gaming CPU you can get in a laptop. But I just love the fact that you can get up to a 5090 and an X3D with a 240Hz OLED in the same chassis. I don't know why it's so hard for other manufacturers to do that. But finally, Oris has done that and I think it's gonna give them a leg up in the competition this year. And they also trimmed this down in size quite a lot. If you value honesty and authenticity in your tech reviews, please consider subscribing. I always try to be as honest and authentic and I never let any brand tell me what I should say. So this is my real honest and true thoughts. The new 9955HX3D, if you don't know about this, this is the AMD desktop class 16 core 32 thread Dragon Range CPU that has a 3D V cache built into it to enhance your CPU bound gaming performance. Probably the biggest thing is that this laptop is featuring the RTX 5090 with 175 watt power limit. Well, the AMD CPU can do up to 100 watts by itself. So. I think this is gonna be some of the best gaming CPU performance you're gonna get in a semi-portable 5090 gaming laptop form factor. So if you're playing this GPU at max 175 watts, it provides up to 55 watts to the HX3D CPU at the same time. If you lower the GPU wattage, you can probably push that AMD CPU a bit higher for CPU bound gaming scenarios. And this should provide some of the best 1% low performance that you can get in a gaming laptop, while at the same time providing a 240 Hertz OLED up to a thousand nits peak brightness and 500 nits with sustained brightness, the latest Samsung OLED panel, basically. This is an all metal chassis. It's new, it's thinner, it's lighter. It's 17% thinner compared to last year's Master 16. It reminds me a lot of my old Aorus X5 I used to use. I rocked that thing for about three years and then I crypto mined on that thing for six months straight while thermal throttling at 100 degrees. And then I sold that laptop after all that usage. It was still working fine. I still sold it for like 500 bucks after like four years of using it. That thing was a workhorse. So I've had a good experience with Aorus laptops in the past. And I think they put in some of the highest quality components, but I think some of their software choices and software implementations have been pretty questionable. Some of their configurations in the past have also been a little questionable in terms of how much actual performance you get out of the system seems to underperform compared to some of the competition. But this year, because it's an AMD processor, it should be more power efficient for the wattage coming in compared to an Intel processor. And since it's an HX3D chip combined together with a 5090 being one of the only universally available HX3Ds plus 5090s that you can possibly buy, especially since it has a 240 Hertz OLED, I think it's going to be a really popular gaming laptop. One of the most popular laptops this year, almost for sure. One downside here, no number pad. That's going to be the case for a lot of 16 inch gaming laptops. But in this case, no number pad, you do get dedicated home page up and buttons and the arrow keys are full size. I do like that. And the keyboard does feel good. And it's a per key RGB backlight with a glass trackpad that feels good. And you do get some pretty cool RGB implementation. You get pin lighting on the Aorus logo on the rear lid. You also get two RGB light bars with the Aorus logo projecting onto the table behind the laptop. And then you also get an RGB light bar going across the front. Now I do kind of wish this one was brighter. The other thing I'll say is the keyboard backlight is quite good. It does fill out the entire keycaps and all the lettering, which some laptops don't do that. They did do alternative like key design around the Q, W, E, R, A, S, D keys. I kind of wish they just did W, A, S, D instead of all the extra letters. I think it would look a little better or just skip that entirely. Overall, I think this laptop has potential. One area of potential weakness is going to be probably the speakers. I'd like to hear what the speakers sound like. Ultimately, whether I can recommend this laptop, it's going to come down to what's the actual real world performance like in games? How does it benchmark compared to other laptops? And what is it priced like? Is it going to be competitively priced versus the competition? Assuming that the software, control software has been implemented, because again, that's been one of the weak spots of Oris in the past. They've had a lot of I guess buggy software and software that's hard to control, like four different areas where you can control the same thing and then it, your fan profiles are going up and down and you're like, am I in turbo mode or am I in the highest performance mode? I don't know. So I, I hope they've redone the software and made it easier to control and more clear to control. One other thing I want to point out is that if you have the budget, you could get the HX3D chip maybe with a lower end GPU or the upper end, if you've got lots of money, you get the 5090 laptop GPU, and then you could hook it up to the AI Box RTX 5090 
eGPU behind me, because then you get the HX3D with a desktop class RTX 5090 and a nice combo port to give you the very best performance you could probably get in a laptop, period. Really freaking cool combination. I've got a dedicated video on the AI box behind me as well as the RTX 5060 Ti AI box as well. That's gonna be a lot cheaper. Now the 5090 version is gonna be $3,000 for the AI box. So it's an eGPU basically, but it's a full desktop class 5090. And then you've got the desktop class RTX 5060 Ti as well. If you're on a more of a mid-range budget and you have an older laptop, I think that one's also very interesting eGPU enclosure to consider. So Gigabyte does have a new control software, which I'm hoping is gonna be better than last year's Gigabyte Control Center. Fingers crossed, this is gonna be better. I'm hoping Gigabyte will send me one of these stats because I'm sure a lot of you are gonna be very interested in potentially buying one. That's the Aorus Master 16. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Brandon, out.